Well, these papayas came from Chile, the same latitude down here. And this, if, if you can get those uh, male flowers, they're completely different than this, female flowers. The female flowers are like several smaller ones. And actually in the morning they smell like a, like a plumeria, very strong scent. One of the most typical fruits from Chile, and they grow in the same latitude than uh, where we are, and uh, they're exporting this fruit in Chile, and I never heard of anybody uh, having any of these plants. I never have seen anybody uh, being successful growing them, and uh, so I'm very proud of them. They love it here. And uh, where did you get the seeds from? The seeds. Uh, came from uh, a fruit that I got in uh, in in a town called Curanipe, in uh, close to south of Constitución in Chile. It's a very similar weather than Bolinas, and, uh, and I got several fruits from different plants, and uh, and this is just the second generation. Uh, these are these actually are seeds from plants that that fruited here in in Bolina so they're they're pretty mutated already so so how old are these trees uh, these trees are three years old hmm. and uh, how long does it take for them to bear uh, fruit about a year and a half hmm. year and a half and uh, how would you describe the flavor of these fruits uh, actually the flavor is is very similar to to a Hawaiian papaya um, very but much but you have to cook these you right have to before cook you them eat them because the enzyme is too strong to eat them raw. And uh, would you like it if you could crossbreed this with a type that you can eat raw, so that oh, we could? Would be incredible. Okay. The key thing about growing a lot of subtropicals. Uh, is the north wind uh, controlling the wind from the north? It's amazing. You can, although the temperatures may not be as high, controlling the wind will make up for that. So I've been very successful with many subtropicals here, as you can see. Uh, and so you control the wind mainly by making hedges. Is exactly, that exactly hedges or putting a building? You know, blocking the north wind. You can see wawas there. See my wawas, Ryan? Mm. Up there, they're all bearing. That's a yellow wawa. And uh, you also mentioned earlier that you got avocados to fruit. Did you do well, that? We got avocados here. You can see avocados right here, fruity. And did you get that? Did you achieve that by trimming them, or how did you? Uh, well, it's the wind. The key is the wind. Here's some avocados. Oh, here's some avocados coming. See them? <laughs> same, with, huh? same with the Mexican lime here. Does well, protected from the wind. Here's more avocados here. That's pretty amazing. I got an avocado tree. Yeah, That's and those are all large avocado trees over there. Thank you for your time. You're welcome.